Oil is the raw material for petrol, but also for products such as plastics and medicine. This is not sustainable. Oil will become scarce and, as a result, probably ever more expensive. Moreover, the processing and burning of oil releases additional CO2 into the atmosphere. TU Delft researches how oil can be replaced by another raw material, biomass. Biomass is organic material such as plants and microorganisms. Burning and processing biomass is more sustainable than using oil. When oil is combusted, CO2, sealed underground for tens of thousands of years, is released into the atmosphere. When biomass is combusted, the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere does not increase. This is because living plants, in fact, extract CO2 from the atmosphere and convert it into oxygen and nutrients. TU Delft researches how to use biomass efficiently as a raw material. In a nutshell, biomass consists mainly of sugars. In a factory, microorganisms are used as living workhorses. They eat and digest the sugars and convert them into alcohol the raw material used for biofuels and biochemicals. The parts of the plants that are edible for humans and animals are also the parts most easy to digest for the microorganisms. But to avoid competition with the food supply, the biomass used as a raw material for products will need to be made from the non-digestible plant parts, such as straw, leaves, branches or tree bark. Unfortunately, microorganisms have more difficulty with the sugars from these woody plant parts. They're not able to digest them or they simply don't like the taste. Bioengineers at TU Delft have solved this by genetic modification of the microorganisms. They implant genes from microorganisms that are able to deal with the sugars. But that doesn't automatically mean they really do eat the sugars. Researchers strain the bacteria by exposing them to the sugars and at the same time selecting those bacteria that actually do eat them. It's putting the theory of evolution into practice. The genetically modified and trained microorganisms are then put to work in a biorefinery to convert non-edible biomass into usable biochemicals. As a raw material, these chemicals are comparable to the chemicals made from oil we use today. The end products are almost indistinguishable from each other. This is a method for making biofuel, but also for biomedicine, bioplastics and biocement. By replacing oil as a raw material by biomass, we create a bio-based economy.